What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with another Dark Dimension 5 video guide and playthrough for you all. Uh, following up on my last video utilizing my Cosmic Roster here. As you can see it's going to be the same 5 characters but let me go through and uh, show you who I've used. Um, Kestrel here as you can see fully upgraded just due to her capabilities, how powerful she is as a one man show. Um, really being able to bring up the rest of the team especially when combinating them with the fellow Eternals. Um, next up we got Falavel providing protection. Um, the nice thing about her is that she's got some decent decent damage but as well as providing a barrier and as well and having offense down does control the waves a little bit in that conjunction with the rest of the team here. Next up, uh, the Eternals combination of Cersei and Icarus, just such a powerful duel you guys. I would argue that just having Cersei, Icarus and Kestrel, those three alone uh, combinated with other two characters in Cosmic could definitely push you through. Um, she's got a cleanse, she's got a stun, she's super supportive and the fact that she has a lot of potent damage when combinating uh, with the key player here being Icarus, uh, really bring him in because of the, his opportunity to flip the positive buffs into negatives and whenever he has an opportunity to actually utilize his ultimate twice, it can do some really devastating damage and then last but not least uh, rounding out the rest of my team here is Star Lord T'Challa here um, he's got a blind he can provide supportive capabilities um, the fact that he's actually just a well-rounded character he also gets a lot of turns in just given how fast he is so I do recommend um, you know traits like the isolate healer uh, he can actually provide sustainable sustainability and healing if needed but otherwise he's a really good skirmisher and raider as well um, that's it guys wow those are the five characters right there uh, let's dive right into the gameplay Now, this node's definitely not hard at all, uh, but you do have to manage a little bit of the waves, guys. So, uh, starting things off, we are actually going to target Winter Soldier in the back right there. And you, you can see that we didn't opt to use uh, Icarus' as ultimate because you'll see we're actually saving it for an opportune moment, um, the moment the next wave drops here. So, uh, that's why we've kind of conserved those abilities here for the time being. But um, if you're going ahead, just as I have it right now, you can see how squishy uh, Winter Soldier is. So, he's a really good one to kind of target. Uh, use Kestrel Special, obviously applying defense down and then you can see we're just just focusing everything on the winter soldier just because he's just easy to get out of the way and uh you can see how squishy he is but uh main reason being guys is because uh once the next wave drops uh it's gonna be a really opportune time for us to take advantage of especially uh with the number of buffs they'll get be getting and um if you guys are familiar with uh, icarus's uh, ultimate ability uh the more buffs they have um it's gonna be just a a beautiful uh, display here of uh, synergizing his damage and flipping um, those those conditions to our advantage here. Yeah, and at this point for number three, uh, just focus on taking down whoever's the weakest. Uh, you know, for us, like, it, they're all pretty squishy. Uh, upon doing so, uh, you are actually going to see that there's going to be, uh, you know, crossbones mixed with Baron Zemo and uh, two red skulls. And that's exactly why we waited for Icarus' uh, ultimate there, because uh, the number of buffs that now got flipped over and then it makes this wave uh, really really straightforward for us especially since um, if you're not ready for that wave to drop uh, it can be very very detrimental and dangerous uh, for us and at that point uh, cleaning up that one minion to the right of Baron Zemo uh, at this point just focus on kind of taking down and, and if you can blind anyone get them out of the way because we do want to manage this a little bit uh, keep in mind too uh, Red Skull is going to be summoning uh, minions so we have to be ready for those if they do come up but Baron Zemo goes down um, and you should be left with a couple of Red Skulls here with uh, Crossbones and, and uh, again you just want to focus on taking down whoever's weaker because if it's easier just to get them out of the way uh, in preparation for the next wave that might be the best bet but it's going to be frustrating because uh, these red skulls if they start summoning um, you'll see that at least Castro having her on our team we can prevent them from summoning but uh, if she already used her special um, you know it could be a hard time depending on how many minions there are or if maybe you guys aren't using Castro um, these minions can definitely flood the board and make it um, pretty frustrating especially with the synergy of the Hydra team after some time here, you can see uh, we do actually go ahead and take down one of the Red Skulls. We really start cleaning this up, and I just want to fast forward because save you guys time to watch it, but there will be likely some back and forth. And again, if you're able to actually finish up uh, the Red Skulls and get them out of the way, it's going to be in a really, really good spot here. Um, we ideally should be you know, leaving at least one Crossbone because he's tanky, and then as well as some of the other uh, minions here. Um, that way it puts us in a really good position uh, for the next wave. 
And where you gotta be careful is the moment it turns into 22 uh, out of 37 enemies remaining, guys, uh, this is the reason why you wanna bring them low because you can see uh, this next wave actually does uh, spawn prematurely. And I think it's designed like that. Sometimes you just have these initial waves uh, just coming uh, the moment it hits a trigger point. So in this case, uh, we're joined by now more crossbones, a couple of punishers, uh, as well as daredevils, uh, kind of rounding out their little cluster of defenders. And definitely see if you can uh, take down anybody that's weaker. As you can see, Icarus is ultimate. Uh, but as well, I highly uh, would recommend the uh, Daredevils as well as Punisher because uh, they are pretty squishy. But uh, I also just stunned uh, OG Spider-Man because he joins the board here as well. And you can see in the top left, uh, Red Skull also joins the battle. So uh, just something to be mindful of when you guys are going through it. And I'm not really sure what happened with this node, but just a lot of odd things going on. So I go ahead, I finish off that Punisher, and you're going to see we're coming right afterwards. Uh, Baron Zemo is actually going to be joining the map too. So it just came out of nowhere, but that's why you got to use like uh, T'Challa here, as you guys can see, just the blind um, damaging enemies such as uh, the Punisher. So that way uh, we're not doing damage. But you can see, yeah, Baron Zemo comes out of nowhere. We're up against uh, still the couple of Daredevils and the OG Spider-Man who's not stunned any longer. So um, that's why you got to be very care careful with this wave guys um uh, it can quickly go into trouble and, and dangerous territory if you don't wave manage but good news is they're all pretty squishy um and if you have the combinations of icarus and cersei with their abilities uh you can likely wipe out a lot of them and, and depending on how you've uh, used your abilities and saved them at this point now i kind of wanted to show you guys what happened here on screen because uh you can see right from the beginning um, you know, first of all, the Crossbones ultimate hurt us, and then second of all, Baron Zemo just activating the ability, the ultimate there, uh, and you can just see, this is exactly what I was referring to earlier, uh, just look at the devastating amount of damage these guys can do, and before I know it, already our, um, you know, three, three, four characters on our team are down already, so, um, at this point, uh, if you get to this day like I am, um, it was a meaningful first attempt here, but uh, don't use any of their abilities now because uh, almost there's no point with Cersei and Icarus, especially with them being the leaders. We need to save their energy uh, so that way we can get a really meaningful uh, finishing attempt here on number two. So yeah, don't definitely don't feel bad guys if the same thing happens just because uh, we're up against a lot of damage and the da downside is now when you're starting off and try to reset uh, hoping that you have Icarus's ultimate like I do there because I got super lucky that it did work out that well but again now we know um, how many enemies they have that are squishy but uh, we just have to take down Baron Zemo because starting off with him um, he, he does a lot of damage in the beginning but if you're able to actually you know use the combination of Icarus and Cersei reduce her turn meter and what doesn't help is that death pool in the top left corner too because she does damage uh, quite a bit as well and she can also also spread negative conditions against us so I just go ahead here uh, and then start uh, doing some work on that right side because again um, you know uh, they're definitely weaker and you'll see what's also frustrating is just having that Nick Fury uh, in summoning uh, minions against us too but uh, I think the key guys is really that death pool if you're able to finish her off in that top left corner it's gonna put you in a really good spot because she can just do a lot of damage and she can you know cleanse herself with her attacks right uh, so that's in a good spot there. Uh, really kind of focus in on the weaker, uh, squishier enemies. And, and that's definitely going to be like OG Spider-Man. Um, you know, we got away uh, with taking down Baron Zemo, the Punishers, Daredevils. And uh, that just puts us overall in a much better spot. And uh, lastly, guys, remember, this is the last node um, before the Legendary node. So that means you don't need to be saving energy anymore. Um, we know there's one more wave after the cluster of five here is over. Uh, so that way we can go ahead and use our full on abilities uh, without reservations. And personally, uh, like I said earlier uh, in my previous video, uh, you know, leaving characters like Red Skull is good because they can summon and they're actually able to allow you to build up energy. And that's exactly what I did here. And then finally leaving this last minion here um, in preparation for the last and final wave. So uh, not a big deal in this wave, but because we have the majority of our abilities, we start off in a really great spot. So again, similar to the previous wave, if you can just control uh, Death Pool and just get her out of the way so that way she's not doing uh, her work. And as well, uh, we have T'Challa being able to blind as well, right? So, you know, able to just do damage there. Uh, landing Kestrel Special is huge because applying all those defense downs is gonna put us in a good spot. But um, as per usual, focus on taking down the damage dealers like Punisher, uh, Death Pool, Daredevil, OG Spider-Man for the stun and support and we're going to be in a good spot we want to leave characters like Nick Fury uh, Night Nurse and as well as Captain America out of the way just because they don't do damage and uh, leaving them at the very end they're not going to be able to take us down 
And unfortunately, um, you know, our file of does get taken down, but that's okay. Uh, we finally take down Death Pool. And if you take down Death Pool, and, and the only damage dealer really remains to be is Daredevil, you're going to be in a really good spot. This is pretty much, you know, smooth sailing at this point. Yeah, in my opinion, definitely, um, you know, still not an easy cakewalk node because you still need to control what's going on. But uh, Nick Fury being the second last and we leave Night Nurse here, uh, it's going to put you in a good spot for success because she can't do damage. Um, and it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, Kestrel is actually taken down because keep in mind she is squishy still. Uh, but I mean, um, you know, the key again is going to be uh, the Eternals, you guys. I can't stress this enough. Like it really showed me, um, especially in, in the cosmic nodes here. How important these two are i think it's uh, i'm pretty grateful that i had enough um you know uh, gear material to bring these two up but i think it's honestly uh very very difficult to do these nodes well with them it might take a lot of attacks right so i was very lucky in the sense that um specifically with both cersei and icarus they made these nodes where i only needed two to three attempts per node so uh definitely saved me a lot of attacks i think it would have been extremely difficult if I didn't have them uh, in my arsenal here, but um, there you guys have it. Uh, finally wrapping up the cosmic nodes here. Um, and just again, uh, similar to my previous videos, just gonna show you guys the attack attempt here. Two full attacks and both being very notable, um, doing a lot of the work, especially in attack one and attack two. Uh, but there you guys have it. That is the wrap up of the cosmic nodes. So I'll start off legendary nodes pretty soon here, but I will be making a quick reflections video just to show you guys in terms of, you know, what that preview is gonna look like. Thank you as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.